Beginning with Java version 1.4, the assert facility was added. This concept has been around since the 1960s and has been implemented as part of a number of programming languages over the years. They were actually a part of the early Java development, but they didn't make the cut for the first release. An assert is a simple mechanism. When you write the code, you include an expression that results in a Boolean value. You write it so the expression must result in true for the program to be running properly. If that expression evaluates to false, something is wrong and an exception is thrown. And that's all there is to it. A programmer puts in an assert statement where certain things must be set up in specific ways for the program to run. You can compare two values, verify that a reference is not null, or anything else that you can do in any Boolean expression. There are two forms of the assert syntax. Here's one of them. Here you see a simple assert with a Boolean expression that's obviously false. When this program executes, it will evaluate the expression and finding it false, it will create an assertion error object and throw it. But if you don't enable asserts when you run the program, it'll simply skip it like this. Nothing happened. You can use the command line option to tell the Java virtual machine to evaluate assert expressions. Here you see that the exception has been thrown. The EA option is short for enable assertions. You can spell out the entire thing or just use the short form as I've done here. Now there is another syntax. Here you see the same sort of setup, but the assert boolean expression is followed by a colon and a character string. If you recall, whenever you construct an exception object, you can supply a string that describes the reason for the exception being thrown. That's what this string is. It becomes a part of the exception. Here you can see that the string has been stored in the exception and is displayed as part of the message. There are some obvious things that you shouldn't do with an assertion. For example, the Boolean expression should never do any work because the assert can be enabled and disabled from the command line. You can't depend on it one way or the other. But there are some places where an assert can be useful. For example, say you have a block of code where only specific things can happen. In this code, x must be equal to 1, 2, or 3. Instead of just assuming that last one, you can use an assert statement to throw an exception if something goes wrong. If something does go wrong, the assert will catch it. You can do the same thing for logic flow that must always follow a specific path. If your program will only work if there is an uppercase x somewhere in this array, then you can use an assert to trap the case where it wasn't true. If things are going right, this loop should never drop through the bottom. You can use one to verify conditions. For example, you can check that some container is empty before the method is called to fill it, and then verify that it's been filled. You can even use an assert to check things that should never change. You need to know if they do somehow get changed.